Can't get enough of that sound effect lately, apparently. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Stephen Plays First 20. My name is Stephen George. I play video games. And every Friday, it's the first 20 minutes or so of game. Now, last week, Mal and I uh, came together to bring you Diablo, which was a very aged port of a PC game, but it was for the PlayStation 1. Uh, this week, I'm bringing you yet another PlayStation 1 game. This time, it's Crash Bandicoot from uh, Naughty Dog, actually. I've become a huge Naughty Dog fan in the last few years, having played uh, through the entire, at least so far, Uncharted series. Uh, they are working on Uncharted 4, which will be out for PS4, uh, supposedly in like, like October, November this year. And also uh, The Last of Us, which is fantastic. But before they did that, they were working on Jack and Daxter in the PS2 era. And before that, they were working on Crash Bandicoot. Um, they did Crash Bandicoot in, uh, I think, 1996, so it's it's been a while. And you know what? I've never played Crash Bandicoot, at least I don't think so. I remember, I have a very strong um, memories of playing a demo of something, but I think it was Crash Bandicoot 3 Warped. I'm not 100% sure, but I think so. Let's see, I could probably leave all this stuff alone. Man, remember when options menus used to be as simple as this? <laughs> now they're, like, filled with all kinds of stuff. All right, so uh, let's jump in. I don't really know what I'm uh, I'm in for, but man, this game is, uh, this is this is an old game. This is one year older than Earthbound. I mean, technically, Earthbound came to the U.S. in uh, in '95, and it was actually Mother 2 in '94. But still, it's interesting seeing the difference between sprites and polygons whenever you're looking at a time frame that's so small. Uh, N Sanity Beach. Also, I get a huge Donkey Kong Country vibe from that. I like how they redid the uh, the Crash Bandicoot logo to say loading. I have no idea what I'm in for. I just remember a demo that I played where... I don't think it was Crash. I think it was his sister or girlfriend or something riding a, uh, like a tiger. And it was like Temple Run, pretty much. Because th those must be lives. So I can jump. Um, man, look at that animation. Do you see like the frames whenever you, you come down? It's like really quick. Okay, so I can... If I run and move, I can do a front flip. Does DualShock work? No, of course not. So this is D-pad only. Square makes you spin. So I got a spin attack. Um, triangle brings my HUD down. And apparently square and circle do the same thing. Do my shoulder buttons do anything? No. Okay, so really just jump and spin. Okay, he's gone. And there's pits, and there's these... I think that's an extra hit. I think I can now get hit now. I'm pretty sure that's how that works. Basing this off of what seems to make sense, and also... There's something up here, too. And also what I'm trying to pull from my memory as a kid. And you gotta remember, I did not grow up with PlayStation. I was a, um... I was a hardcore Nintendo fanboy for a long time. Um, and I had, uh, only Nintendo consoles. I don't know what that does now that I already, since I already had one. I had only Nintendo consoles until I finally decided to um, to get a, a PlayStation 2 at some point. I don't remember why I got the PlayStation 2. I know I wanted to play Final Fantasy X, which was odd because um, I don't think I had ever played a, uh, a Final Fantasy game up to that point. So once again, I have no idea what made me decide to do that. Am I invincible? Okay, I'm invincible for a short time because I've gotten so many of these things. Do I kill the boxes too? Oh yeah. But I can probably still die by falling in a pit. Let's go this way. Oh! Okay, let's go. Careful, careful, careful. Die! This game is... Really... Like, I don't want to downplay it, but like, it's really... Simple. <laughs> like... It's... It, I, what I had remembered of it, before I had started, I was like, what do, what do I remember of this game? And I, I kind of remember it being a little like Temple Run, and it really is. It's, um... It's similar. Did I get hit? I think I got hit. But I'm also trying to move backwards, which is bad, because I could probably fall into a precipice and die. But I'm also, for whatever reason, I guess trying to, like, 100% this level or something? Trust me, I'm confused at even myself. But I'm guessing there's a hundred of these apple things. So that's what I'm trying to collect. Rip! Let's jump this, go back to where I was. Getting hit doesn't really matter because... Woo! Almost didn't make it. Is that all of them? Did I get them all? 
Okay, so there were there were more than 100, but 100 does net me an extra life. I don't know if the two I have is, are going to carry over to the next level or not. Neat. You did great, but you missed... Where the piss were those? <laughs> Where were those things? Dear Lord. Anyway, I know that this was, um... This was actually one of the best-selling PlayStation games of all time. And, uh, it, I mean, it had to have been, because it, they made two sequels after this. They made... I think the second one's called Wrath of Cortex. The third one is definitely called Warped. I remember that. They also made a, uh, racing game. And, uh... See, can I hit that and be okay? No. Apparently I'm supposed to avoid those. Alright, I will... Remember for next time. Oh, wait, hold on. Uh, it's so hard to see that stuff. It's, like, right out of frame. Um... I've had people tell me, and I've also seen some Im images on the internet, uh, of the fact that there should be uncarted, because un uh, Naughty Dog had released the Crash Bandicoot series for the PlayStation, and they did three games, and then they did a kart racer. They did Crash Team Racing. And then, for the PS2 era, they did Jack and Daxter 1, 2, and 3, and they also did a kart racer. For I forget what it's called, but it's like Jack something. Oh god, I lost my Tiki Man. That's That's not good. I need to be more careful. So everyone was like, well, you've done, you know, three Uncharted games. Oh, I died. I actually died on level two. That's unfortunate. I'll fix that. Um, so th people were saying, well, yeah, at this point, now you have to do, you know, Uncharted. But they're continuing on with the, uh, with the Uncharted series. Once again, uh, Uncharted 4, A Thief's End, is uh, coming out later this year. I am very, very excited for it. I've really enjoyed what they've done, though. And Naughty Dog's been around for a while. Naughty Dog's been around since, um... Uh, apparently they've been around since 89, but they've actually been around before that. They were just under a different name called Jam Software. So, how do I kill you? Because I, I took damage. And I don't want to take damage. Can I jump on you? Can I, get, can, I, can I kite you and be like, hey, eat me, but don't eat me. This doesn't seem to be working. There's no other buttons here. I can jump... And I have a, a a female bandicoot at the bottom, and I don't know what she does. Can I jump on your head? Oh, okay, so I can jump on enemies too. I'll take that. You wanna be Goomba? See, I've I've been trained by frickin' Mario to understand that I cannot jump on the heads of uh piranha plants. Oh god. Oh, Navigating this is uh, quite difficult, and uh, it, a lot of it has to do with the fact that I, you know, I don't have access to a stick. You know, I'm using the D-pad because that's what you gotta use. <laughs> the the uh, DualShock doesn't work. But there was a lot of games that were early on in the PlayStation that, you know, didn't support it. And uh, some games actually got re-released. I know that we had talked about... I don't know what's going on, but I hope I get to meet this girl. Um, oh! Oh, I can jump on him, but it's hard to... I can't really combo that because the, the controls are so hard to do. Frickin... Oh, God! <laughs> what was I saying? Oh, yeah. Um, Some of the games actually got re-released because they started supporting DualShock. One of the examples being, uh, in a recent first 20, we did the first Resident Evil. Also, how do I... That's basically, like, you can have an extra life, but you gotta take a hit. Or you gotta, like get this perfect. Ouch. <laughs> but whatever, I got an extra life, so I, get, I think it was worth it, maybe. Um, yeah, Resident Evil actually re-released the game supporting DualShock controls, and I don't know how common that was, but I assume that there were multiple games that, uh, that did that. This. There we go. Alright, buddy. Ugh. Do I get a bonus level or something? Okay, yeah, there's a bonus round. Fantastic. Oh, and I was about to say it's a side-scroller, but no, it's not exactly. There's still a plane, which is horrifying. Holy crap, can I fall off? I bet I can. I better be careful. All right, so I get a free life. Oh, snap. What up? Save point, 2% complete. I don't understand. Also, I'm... I'm considerably short, or maybe you're just very... very tall. I don't know. Um, 2% complete. So is that the entire game? And also, are you the save point? And if you're the save point, do I have to... 
constantly collect things? Spyro the Dragon. Select slot for saved game. Oh! Haha! <laughs> Dang, man! These are all... Sorry, I'm playing on the PlayStation 3, and it's really interesting to see this stuff, because, like, it's a, a digital memory card. It's not one that actually exists, and I, was, I forgot that I, we've done all this stuff. We didn't actually show Fighting Force, but I played it a little in my free time. Uh, save game, then. So that was a save point. Interesting. And you have to, like, earn the right to get your to get to the save points? Also, how is it going to treat the... Am I going to be dropped exactly where I was? Did the game... I think I'm... I think I'm exactly where I was. Gotcha. And I don't have any... I don't have any Tiki men, so I need to be... careful. And the game is not particularly difficult. Oh, God! <laughs> Let's play Curse gets me again. If you speak ill, or, or highly of, uh, if you speak highly of your skills, or ill of the game, the game will immediately kill you. It's it's, it's like the rules. Right, here we go. Oh! Don't spawn those things. Oh God! I was trying to. I was. Ah, it's so hard to combo because there is no dual shot controls. The death animation was different though. Which, you know, I guess makes sense, because the first time I got squashed, and the second time I got bitten. But this is also very unfortunate, because <laughs> this part is hard, and I have no access to Tiki Man to save me. Oh god, I gotta... I'm gonna line this up, baby. I'm gonna line this up. What the... What was that? I, tr I got caught on the uh, thing above me. Okay. That's fine, but this time... What I'm going to have to do is kill the first one, and then back off, and then plan my attack. Dear Lord, I, this, I almost wonder, because I know this game has been re-released for PSN, I almost wonder if the game actually, like the new one, supports the DualShock control- OH! <sighs> I didn't have enough time to move- I am struggling on level 2 of Crash Bandicoot, man! And I, I strongly feel that I would not be struggling! If I had access to an analog stick, I've been spoiled. All right, let's go. There we go. All right. What's up, friend? How you doing? All right, jump back, jump back, jump back. Okay, okay, okay. Ha! You piece of crap. You ready to, to join your buddy in hell? Yes. No wonder that that was the last uh, obstacle for that level. That was hard. I died like four times, or something. That doesn't take me immediately back to the map, does it? Oh, I thought I would see, like, a screen for how good I did. I guess not. The Great Gate. Man, this... <laughs> there's not a whole lot going on. Like, I understand that early games, you know, typically don't have any sort of tutorial. But there's no there was no sort of tutorial. Which actually I, I, is fine, really, because I went through all of the buttons. And unless I'm missing something, unless there's something that you can press at, like, the same time or something... You really can only walk around, spin, and jump. And also pull your HUD down. Are there really no other buttons? That's amazing. Okay, so... How do we do this? These are jump pads? Okay. Oh, Lord. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Okay, let's... let's there we go. Got it. Okay. Give me this thing. There we go. I need that thing really badly. Okay. And I think I actually wouldn't have been able to get it if I hadn't have jumped on that thing. Can I kill you? Yeah, I can kill you. Can I... Can I use you to kill other enemies? They probably have to be close. Ugh! So this has become a side-scroller now, which is interesting. Okay, and... Can that thing crush me? I'm worried. I'm gonna jump through it. I don't think I need to be over there. What up, monkey? You're not my friend. Nothing is my friend. Also, everything has got really fantastic sound effects. I need to kill this thing. Okay, well, so much for that. Ugh! A little, little difficult. Okay. Yeah! Comboed that son of a gun. Yeah, I have, I have definitely never played this. The only Crash Bandicoot memory I have... Although, admittedly... What is this? Oh, I have to spin it, I bet. 
There we go. The only Crash Bandicoot memory I have is that demo where you're on the tiger. Once again, almost feel almost positive that that is from the uh, the third game, but I'm not sure. Okay, you do get a oh, fart. I think you do get an added boost if you press jump while you are on these things. There we go. Also, I think might be crazy, but it looks like there could be a secret to the left. No, there's not. I thought there was. There is definitely no. <laughs> Checkpoint. Thank God. All right. Gotcha. All right. If I. It always goes in one direction. I was thinking that maybe I could, you know, move forward or backwards on the plane so I could line it up, but uh, no, that's uh, doesn't seem to be something you can do. Crash Bandicoot is uh. Got him! Yes! Alright, get out of here. It's pretty straightforward. I mean, you... You move around and you jump and you... Spin, or... Maybe they maybe they call it crashing. You crash. Come up. And I'll see you guys later. Alright. I'm curious what the... For one, I'm curious what the rest of the game is, is like. Uh, no, bro. Oh, shoot! Ugh! Um, but I'm also curious what the sequels actually bring to the table. Uh, I... I want to say that I remember some really fantastic music in the demo of Warped, but also I may just be thinking of Spyro the Dragon. I played the demo of Spyro the Dragon as well, and, uh, oh... Oh, God. And I really like that music where you're in just the field. And we... Me and Mal went through, um, Spyro the Dragon. What the... What the balls is that? Are you kidding me? I'm like all the way back here. It's hard to get through this, man. It's re this is not easy <laughs> because you gotta time everything freaking perfect. Oh Give me that thing. And apparently, because it was not, <laughs> it didn't make a whole lot of sense. The, that green stuff is like slime. It looks like vines. Maybe they are vines, but whatever they are, they they cause you to slip and fall. Ah, uh, some of you are probably cringing a little bit because uh, I'm sure this was a childhood game for many of you. Uh, it is one of the best-selling, uh, you know, PlayStation games of all time, and it did very, very well. Oh! Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! Kill it! Kill it! Kill it! <gasps> no! No! <laughs> I don't think th is it is it taking my life when it does that? I think it is. It's just not doing any sort of really depressing animation. It's just saying, oh hey. You're back here where you were. And, uh... Oh, God, no! There's no way to get that. You can really overdo your spin. Alright, let's give this another freaking shot. Jeez. I wasn't expecting it to be this difficult, and it's really not. I mean, the, the everything is pretty straightforward. But I'm struggling with this a little more than I thought that I would. A, a lot of... Uh, a lot of it does have to do with the controls. It is, uh... Clunky. It's very clunky. PlayStation really entered into a... A, a wonderful new era when they supported the DualShock controller. Alright, buddy. You're going down. Ugh. I'm getting through this section. Jump on your head. Get out of here. Alright. We can slip and fall. Sh Woo! That's a fire pit now? Oh, man, look at those 1996 fire effects. They are beautiful. Come on down. Oh, that's that, man. I'm I'm freaking out of here. So I get a bonus round. This also allows me to save my game. Really confusing. Like if you don't get a bonus round, you can't save your game. Also, this is it's gonna say gonna kill me. Oh, that thing never goes away. Okay. Alright. Give me this. Oh, shoot! <laughs> oh, God! <laughs> you know, you learn really quick what is okay and what is not. So, because I failed that, I don't get the opportunity to save my game. That's what, I mean, that's what I'm seeing. Like, you got you actually have to beat the bonus levels in order to, to, to save. 
I mean, maybe there's another way to save at some point? Also, what was that? It looked like it was possible to maybe jump over and there was something to the left? No idea. I can't go there now, so... And the other thing I didn't consider is that maybe, maybe along the Adventure Crash does get other abilities? Like, I don't know that for a fact, but maybe, you know, he can spin and he can jump at the beginning, but maybe as he goes on, he gains the ability to do something else. I have no idea. Oh, well, this is interesting. Now the perspective has changed where we're moving towards the camera, which is awful. <laughs> it's actually, it's cool, but it's, it worries me. Oh, it's because we're, oh, it's a, so it is Temple Run. So anyone that played Temple Run was like, oh, this is just Crash Bandicoot. Oh, this is cool, man. This is cool. I like this a lot. Yeah. Can't catch me. Unfortunately for Crash Bandicoot, there are boulders everywhere. He should really have stayed on the other side of the island. Doing all right, though. Once again, this would be made infinitely easy. Oh, shoot. Should have jumped that. Oh, God. I got crushed. I got, it's because I got caught on that box. Dang, man. And then we're back at the start. Crap. All right. Give me these things. Do bandicoots like apples or something? To be honest, I'm not even 100% sure what a bandicoot is. I'm sure it's based on, or is, you know, a real animal. But, uh, I think the only time I've ever really heard it was in the context of this game. All right, give me this stuff. Also notice how, uh, the box that used to hold a life did not continue to give me a life. So they only give you that privilege once. If you screw it up, too bad, it becomes something else. All right, so you gotta keep running. Gotta keep jumping this stuff. Don't get stuck on that box. It happened to me last time. Okay, um... Am I missing something? Can I run... F is there a way to run faster? Y well... Do I move faster when I spin? I do. I think. Okay, but in an interesting turn of events, you... I'm... When I'm mashing the button... It looks as if you can't spin unless the ground is perfectly level. Which is... Interesting. Oh, shoot! And that's the other problem, is that you may end up on some ending animation for the spin that won't let you... <laughs> won't let you do that, Star Fox. That is bad. Alright. I really... <laughs> I'm really dedicated to this. I'm not gonna play any more levels af after this one, but I wanna beat the frickin' boulder level, man. Alright. Careful. 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 I don't think I'm going to start using my spin stuff, so I don't get screwed. There we go. Until I get to, like, this point. Oh, jeez. Oh, I did much better that time. Yeah, you absolutely have to spin. Okay. It was not immediately clear to me. <laughs> okay. Catch a breather, Crash. Let's go. Oh, my... Okay. We're cool. Oh! Jumped a little early, but still made it. Alright, follow these things. Follow these things. They're gonna lead you to safety. They're gonna lead you to safety. Oh, dear God. Oh, my God. I want, I want this so bad. You have no idea. Oh, poop! Get in there! <laughs> my hands are sweaty. There is, like... I'm looking at my, my fingers, and they are glistening with sweat. Great, but you missed some boxes. So wait, does this only show up if I miss boxes? Is that why this shows up? I don't understand. Why <laughs> Why does that come up occasionally, but not other times? I have no idea. Well, no, it can't be, because I actually I did miss boxes on purpose. Interesting. Anyway, um, based on the fact that whenever I talked to that girl, she said 2% complete, I'm assuming that there's a lot of levels in this game, and that this is like Island 1 of God Only Knows. I'm assuming. But that seems right, because otherwise it looks like the game would have, like, 12... Oh, wait, no. Look out there in the distance. You guys see that other island? So apparently Crash Bandicoot just wants to do some island traveling. And, uh, I don't know. I, I don't know what the, the plot of the game is, unfortunately. Um, I was hoping that maybe they would at least explain that, which is actually a bit unusual, because, you know, in the PlayStation era, there was a lot of cutscenes, introduction of cutscenes. Uh, they weren't great, but they did that a lot, so I'm, I'm kind of surprised that they didn't try and do that, but 
because 986 was still a little early. Anyway, that's it for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you got a game that you would like to see here on First 20, be sure to put it down in the comments below, and I promise you it will be read and considered. I'll see you guys next week for another Stephen Plays First 20. Do, 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 do. Music is pretty good.